Hello, welcome to Yoga Flow. Today we are going to be working on building up to crow pose. So if you know what that is and you know that's something that you can't do, no worries. Everyone will have an option that is friendly to them. And if you can't make your crow fly, that's okay. Not all crows are meant to fly. So we're going to use a strap. We're gonna use it in the beginning and the end. Uh, we'll use some blocks here as well. A blanket can be nice for knee cushion. And if you've got a sensitive low back, having that folded blanket, folding it like this, um, when we do some core work with the block, um, will be nice for you as well, give you a little bit more cushion there. So just know that you've got what you need. I'm gonna go ahead and have my strap and I'm gonna fold my strap in half here. And I'm just gonna put it to the side. We're gonna start on our backs. So I'm going to start right down here. I've got my water bottle over there too. It's allergy season in Kentucky and my voice tends to want to come in and out here. So before I do anything, I'm just going to let my knees go from one side to the other. Just letting the low back kind of relax and kind of settle in just a little bit here. Good, and then maybe find some stillness and then just maybe taking the head and neck from side to side for a moment. Good, and then from here, just roll the shoulders back. Let's take the arms to the side. Let's reach up, take it back. Exhale, bring it down. Now the front body's gonna engage a little bit here when we move. We'll take it back. Try not to let the rib cage pop up. Good. Moving to the breath. We'll take this up. Turn the palms toward each other. Good. Now we're just going to open to the side and close at the top. And open to the side and close at the top. To the side and close. Now, when you come up here, rotate the hands. So you've got the outside of the hands pointing to the outside. The top of the hands are pointing each other. So different rotation. Good. And we'll take that down and we'll take it back up and down and up and down and up and relax those arms back down. Good. You can wiggle, wiggle, wiggle here again. You can take your hands to your rib cage, your belly, or your heart, whatever feels natural and comfortable for you. And set an intention for this practice. So what would you like to give or receive? Good, so think about maybe joy, play, Happiness, love, courage. And when we're ready, we'll release that. Now we're gonna grab our strap here. So I've still got that strap in half and I'm taking my hand over where my buckle is. So when we move forward and back, I don't have to worry about that buckle hitting me in the face. I'm gonna adjust my feet a little bit here. So I want hips, knees and toes to track. Good. I'm pulling on the strap and I'm reaching forward. So from here, keeping that pulling, taking it back and forward and back and forward and back and forward. Hips will lift this time. Lift and lower and lift and lower and lift and lower and lift and lower we'll add on this time you might want to take your heels a little bit more in if what we're just doing is enough of a challenge for you keep both feet grounded and don't worry about anything else that i'm doing with that single leg speaking of single leg right leg's going to come long arms are going to come long this is going to be a single left leg press and when you're ready we'll lift and take it back and reach and come down and lift and lower and lift and lower and lift and lower and put that down and other side good and here we go we'll lift and lower and lift and lower and lift and lower and lift and lower good we'll
we'll bring that down and just kind of rock side to side. Use that strap as a little stretchy tool. Good. Good. From here, I'm gonna put this to the side. We'll come back to it later. And just for a moment, knowing that we're gonna build up the crow. So we're gonna get into the shoulders, strengthening, opening, hips, strengthening, opening. Just kind of make a little bit of a crow position here. So first of all, just take your knees, bend your knees. Good. Now, flex your feet. Could you take them up towards the ceiling? Take your hands forward. So you're kind of making an on your back crow pose here in a way. Okay. And just reach, press and come back and press and come back. Hips, knees and toes are tracking in the same direction. One more time. Good, find that little position and we'll take those feet down. Rolling shoulders back. We're gonna get into the abs just a little bit here too. Knees in tabletop position. So knees over hips, shins parallel to the floor. And we're gonna bicycle. So just take a nice gentle forward motion here. It's okay if you touch the toes to the floor. If that hurts your back, don't take your feet as low. Belly button is in tight, tight, tight. And let's reverse pedal. Good. From here, knees into the chest, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. I'm gonna roll over onto my right side because that's the side that will face the camera first. Good. So we're gonna continue to open a little bit here. So you can stack the knees, shoulders and hips are in alignment. My arms are straight out forward. I'm just gonna kind of move that out of the way here. Straight out forward. My gaze is on my right, left hand. My gaze is on my left hand or the top hand, whatever you're doing, the top hand. And I'm gonna open to the side, feeling that nice stretch and come back center. And open and close and open and close. Now belly button is in because you're going to rotation here. Open and pause. and take that back here. Now, I'm just gonna scoot a little bit closer. Good. Now we're gonna take that a little bit into more of a pinwheel drag. So this top hand, you're gonna keep your eyes on it. It's gonna come onto the floor. It's not gonna break the contact with the floor. If you can, drag it all the way around and taking it all the way back forward. Good. So this is core, upper body and shoulder, also a little bit into the chest. Yeah, and we'll take it back. Good, and pause here. Good, come back onto your back. Double leg bicycles. So rolling your shoulders back, knees in tabletop position. Good, from the hips now, reach and bend and two. Belly button in. Don't let the pelvis tip. Watch your back. If it's coming involved, don't take your legs as low. Let's reverse. Reversing double leg bicycle. Good. And when you're ready, bring that back in. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Now, you can roll over to your left side. I'm just going to come up and come over this way because I don't want my back to the camera. But we're gonna do this the same way we did before. Good, so knees are bent, shoulders and hips in alignment, arms straight out. I stay on this top hand and we're gonna open and close. And open and close and open and close, let's open and hold. The belly button is in. And when you're ready, good, taking that back over. Now we're gonna do that drag. So try to keep your gaze on the hand, try to keep the fingers on the ground. So we're gonna take it back and open and take that back forward. 
and take it back and open and take it back forward. One more time, take it back and open and coming back in close. Coming back onto your back here, wiggle, 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 knees into the chest. You have options, different things for different people. You can roll over to your side and then come up into a tabletop position, or you can follow me crossing ankles, rolling like a ball into a tabletop position. So take the version that you're gonna go in and come all the way forward. Good, I'm just gonna turn around this way here. So from here, spreading fingers nice and wide, rooting through knuckles of pinky, pointer and thumb. Take a big inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Now just move forward and back. Now, if you're like me and you've got a fairly big range of motion here. It's okay to take your arms a little bit more forward and then you can come into a lot more movement. Good. Just be stable in the movement. Good, we'll come back child's pose. Knees together as wide as the mat, somewhere in between, arms can be long in front of you or hands back by the ankles. Zip up from pubic bone behind the navel. Find that nice engagement. Find intention. Or maybe here's this one. I deserve I to enjoy. I deserve to enjoy joy, happiness, love, and play. So we're going to do some play today. Good. We're going to come up. Let's take that, walk those hands over towards the right, walk the left fingertips forward, lift the hips up slightly, press into the right hand, sink towards the left side. Breathe and expand. We want nice open movement in the upper body. We want nice open movement in the lower body. We'll come up, walk through center. Half or full child's pose, or if you're so inclined, you want to move, move forward and back. My body's wanting me to move, so I'm moving. Good. And then when you're ready, we'll take it back. Walk it over to the left. Right hand's going to come forward. Lift the hips slightly. Press into the left hand. Sink towards the right side. Breathe and expand. When you're ready, we will come up, we'll come back in. Good. From here, I'm going to come up and I'm just going to move forward and back again. Now, if you're moving forward and you're going to a little bit of extension like I am, careful not to hang in that back, careful not to hang on shoulders. And when you're ready, we're going to find ourselves into our downward facing dog. So taking a half a hands width or full hands width forward, if you're taller, tucking the toes and we'll lift and shift back. Watch the hips, the knees, the ankles, the toes. Pressing hands in and forward into your mat. You're rooting through the knuckles of pinky corner and thumb. Pressing evenly into big toe and pinky toe mounds. Good, maybe walking your dog here. Halloween season, maybe walk your werewolf, the downward facing werewolf. Good. From here, you can choose to stay with that. You can bend and stretch and bend and stretch. The lower you go, the harder it is. Your knees and your hips are your guide. Okay. And then from here, we'll take some stillness. Inhale, look forward, bend the knees, walk or step your feet forward to meet your hands. Come to a block or two if you need that or the floor. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway, half back, floor, block, shins or thighs. Exhale and we'll bow. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale and we'll bow. Inhale, root through the feet, engage the glutes, rise all the way up. 
Exhale, hands to heart center, finding breath, mountain, intention. All right, here we go with the warm up. Big inhale and reach. Exhale and fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale, little bow. Inhale, step back into plank pose. So hold your plank. Knees can be lifted or grounded. Let's hold this 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Drop the knees. We'll lower, lower, lower. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Good. We're going to take this into a cobra flow today. So taking the hands a little forward, taking the hands out to the side just a little bit. Legs are going to be hip width apart. Belly button is in. How high you come up matters not as long as your shoulders are not up by the ears and you're not crunching into your spine. So from here, big inhale. Exhale, find the center. And lower. Inhale, exhale to the right. And lower. Inhale, exhale, center. And lower. Inhale, exhale to the left. And lower. Inhale, exhale, center. And lower. To the right. And lower. To center. And lower. To the left. And lower. Last time, center. Small, medium, or high. If upward facing dog is in your practice and you want to take it, good. Lower down a little bit and find it. Tops of the feet are to the toes. And then when you're ready, we'll lower that back down. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Hands under shoulders, stronger, more experienced yogis. Can tuck the toes, push up into plank, shift back down dog. Everyone else, follow me through tabletop. Finding your downward facing dog. Find some breath. Find a little bit more joy. Inhale, look forward, bend the knees. Walk, step, or hop your feet forward to meet your hands. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, little bow. Inhale, root, engage, and rise. Exhale, hands to heart center, finding breath, mountain, intention. Good. Send salute A three times. Inhale and reach. Exhale and fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale, little bow. Inhale, step or hop back to plank. You choose. Take or skip a flow. Flowing is always optional. And you will not see me take every one that I cue. You're just there if you like them in one. From down dog when you're ready. Inhale, look forward. Bend the knees. Walk, step, or hop your feet forward to meet your hands. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, little bow. Inhale, root, engage, and rise. Exhale, hands to heart center, finding breath, mountain intention. Inhale and lift. Exhale and we'll fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale and about. Inhale, step or hop back to plank. You choose. Take or skip your flow. So if you're skipping down dog or child's pose or working on your plank, always good places to be. From down dog, when you're ready, inhale, look forward, bend the knees, walk, step, or hop your feet forward to meet your hands. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, little bow. Inhale, root, engage, and rise. Exhale, hands to heart center. Last one, inhale and lift. Exhale and we'll flip. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale and we'll bow. Inhale, step, or hop back to plank. You choose, take or skip that flow. From the down dog when you're ready, inhale, look forward, bend the knees, walk, step, or hop your feet forward to meet your hands. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale, little bow. Inhale, root, engage, and rise. Exhale, hands to heart center, finding breath, mountain, intention. My hair is all over the place. All right, we're going to change that up. New pattern, big inhale and reach. Exhale, little fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale and allow. Inhale, step or hop back to plank. You choose, take or skip that flow.
from here when you're ready. Right leg's gonna lift three point, bending that knee. We're gonna go right into a cheetah series here. So strong upper body, inhale. Exhale, round forward, don't come past the wrist. Inhale, take it back. Exhale, cheetah two times. Inhale, take it back. Exhale, cheetah three times. Inhale, take it back. Exhale, step or pick up and put the right foot forward between the hands. Press back through that back heel. Lengthen through the torso. Use blocks if you need to. Be strong here. Back leg is going to come up to meet the front leg. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, little bow. Inhale, root, engage, and rise. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, and we lift. Exhale, and we'll fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale, little bow. Inhale, step or hop back to plank. You choose. Take or skip a flow. Coming on to the left side, left leg lifts three point, bending that knee. Inhale, exhale, cheetah one time. Inhale, take it back. Exhale, cheetah two times. Inhale, take it back, really press that floor away. Exhale, cheetah three times. Inhale, take it back. Exhale, round step or pick up and put that foot forward between the hands. Again, pressing back through the back heel, back heel is not grounded, lengthen the torso. Relax the shoulders, be long and strong. Inhale, exhale, back foot comes up to meet the front. Inhale and lift, exhale and bow. Inhale, root, engage and rise. Exhale, hands to heart center. We're gonna add on to that now, big inhale and reach. Exhale and we'll fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale and we'll bow. Inhale, step or hop back to plank. You choose, take or skip a flow. From the downward facing dog, right leg's gonna lift three point, bending that knee. We're gonna open to the right and come back center. Open to the right. Strong, even upper body, come back center. Open to the right, hold it out here. Be strong. Keep that knee bent as you take that back even to the floor. Here's our cheetahs, inhale. Exhale, cheetah one time. Inhale, take it back. Exhale, cheetah two times. Inhale, take it back. Exhale, cheetah three times. Inhale, take it back. Exhale, round, step or pick up and put that foot forward between the hands. Good. Now, from here, we're gonna try to come up into a high crescent. So be strong. Back heel is not grounded. Watch your front knee tracking. Watch that back tracking. Back knee bends a little bit and lifts. A little bit and lifts. A little bit and lifts. Lengthen that front leg. Warrior prep your back foot coming into a warrior one. Front hip will come back. Watch hip knee and toe tracking. You should be able to look down and see that too. Good. Now, really zip up the front body here. Press strongly through the back. We're gonna come forward and hold. Get into the front heel, not the front knee. Coming back, lengthening that leg and maybe we come back and open. And reach back warrior one. Inhale. Exhale, coming forward, hold, get into your feet. Lengthen that front leg, come back and we'll open. Good, coming back up, finding warrior one, coming back forward and pause. Breathe. Core is activated here. Legs are activated here. Feet are activated here. Taking that down, swiveling up the back foot. Front foot steps back. You choose, take or skip a flow. Now notice how you're starting to feel from one side to the other, yeah, yeah. How about say this to yourself, I am confident. I am confident. 
Inhale, left leg lifts three point, bending that knee. Strong, even upper body. We're gonna open to the left and bring that back down. And open to the left and bring that back down. Open to the left and hold it. Good, we're gonna take the hips and knees back even to the mat. And here we go, three cheetahs, inhale. Exhale, cheetah one time. Inhale, take it back. Exhale, cheetah two times. Inhale, take it back. Exhale, cheetah three times. Inhale, take it back. And round and step or pick up and put that foot there. Good, so we're gonna come up into that high crescent if you can. Coming up, good. Back heel is not lowered. Watch your front knee tracking. Good. Now back knee's gonna bend. We're gonna dip a little bit and come back up. And a little bit and come back up. A little bit, come back up. Lengthen that front leg, warrior prep the back leg. Find your warrior one. Front hip will come back just a cinch. Good. Zipping up through that front body. Here we go, inhale. Exhale, coming forward, getting into the feet, getting into the heels. Coming back up. Good. I'm gonna lengthen my leg here on these for just a little bit more stability for myself today, but you can stay with the bent knee if you want that challenge. And we'll come back up, warrior one. We'll come back forward and hold. Holding the pose, not the breath. How about saying to yourself, I am strong. I am strong. I am confidently strong. Taking it back up, warrior one. Inhale, exhale, taking it forward and pause. Remember the heels. You don't want all the pressure into the knee. We'll take that down. Plant the hands, swivel up the back foot, front foot steps back, you choose. Take or skip a float. Notice how you feel on one side versus the other. From downward facing dog, when you're ready, inhale, look forward, bend the knees. Walk, step, or hop your feet forward to meet your hands. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, little bow. Inhale, root, engage, and rise. Exhale, hands to heart center, finding breath. Mountain, intention. All right, we're gonna go into a different movement pattern now. I recommend if you've got blocks that you've got them handy. Maybe one on each side of your space. Good, and they can be any height. You've got this height, you've got this height, you've got this height. So be mindful that you can play if you've been here for a long time and that's really easy. Well, then go down here and play with that. So from here when we're ready, big inhale and reach. Exhale and we'll fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale, little bow. Inhale, plant the hands, step or hop back to plank. You choose, take or skip a flow. Good. Let's start on the left side first this time. Left leg's gonna lift three point, bending that knee, round. Step or pick up and put that foot forward between the hands. Now I'm gonna bring my blocks in here. Good. My front heel is grounded and I'm just gonna move forward and back for a moment. Okay. Now from here, I'm gonna lower down that back knee. Ideally, you want that knee to be behind the hip, not underneath the hip. And then some of you are gonna come back and then come back forward and come back and come back forward. And this might be it for some of us. Others are gonna come back in and hold this here for a moment. Good, long spine. And then depending on where your knee is, it's gonna depend on where you go. If you're directly under your hip, this is, next part is gonna feel really bad on your kneecap, so be mindful. Some of you, all you're gonna do is just gonna take a bend. Some of you are gonna reach back, maybe opposite arm, grabbing a foot or a hand. Maybe that's it. Maybe you roll onto the edge. Good. 
If you're bound, release without slingshotting, coming back here. Good, we're gonna come back. This leg, some of you might have to take that heel more forward, coming into a half split pose. This knee is gonna be soft, meaning it's not locked. And if your hamstring will allow you, you can fold in deeper. Shoulders in their pockets, long spine. And when you're ready, we'll come up. Good. I'm going to come up from here one more time. And we're going to work into a pigeon from here. So if you're going to do belly down pigeon here, you can just heel toe, heel toe things over. If you've got a lot of space under that left hip, please, please, please protect yourself. Come onto your back, cross the left ankle over the knee. Find a figure four here. It's the same hip opener. It's kinder on the joints and safer. A floating joint is a risky joint here and pushing through when you're not ready will not get you anywhere faster except closer to injuries or causing injuries. And then you're gonna be set back even longer. So honor where you are. When you're ready, in the way that's best for you, rolling over to your side, if you went onto your back, we're going to find our downward facing dog. Walk, walk, walk your dog. Now drop your knees. We're going to set up for a forearm plank. So forearm plank number one. So I'm going to come down onto the forearms here. And for some of us, this might be where your strength allows you to be today, and this is it. So just make sure whatever you're doing here, shoulders are over the elbows or behind them. You don't want to be up here, okay? And then some of you are going to just take your knees back with knees grounded. Others are going to lift the knees up here. Really protract those shoulders. Press that floor away from you. And we're breathing. And we're breathing. And we're breathing. Good. From here, when you're ready, find your downward facing dog in the way that you need to get there. Inhale, look forward, bend the knees, walk, step or hop your feet forward to meet your hands. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, roll back. Inhale, root, engage and rise. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale and we lift. Exhale and we'll fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale and we'll bow. Inhale, step or hop back to plank. You choose. Take or skip or flow. Good. From the down dog, when you're ready, the right leg's going to lift three point, bending that knee. Ground. Step or pick up and put that foot there. Good. Find blocks if you need those. Find that up runner, rock, rock back and forth. Good, back knee's gonna ground. Good, and then from here, good, maybe you choose to come back and come forward and come back and come forward and come back and come forward. Knee is behind the hip. You can stay right here. I'm gonna find some length. Good. Some of you might choose to bend. Some of you might choose to bind. Binding with pants is always okay. Let me just settle it. Maybe you choose to keep going here. And as we're going here, maybe think to yourself, I can let go of limiting thoughts and beliefs. I can let go of limiting thoughts and beliefs, not just in general, but maybe with this practice. We'll take that back, gently releasing. Good. This heel is going to come more forward, lengthening here, folding in. So keep a little softness here just so that we're not locked.
And then from here, when you're ready, we'll come back up. I'm gonna come back forward. We're gonna make our way to pigeon from here. So if you're going belly down, you can heel toe, heel toe it over. If you need to come onto your back, your right ankle is gonna cross over the left. Good. Find what you need here, fill in space. If you don't have a whole lot back there, find your pigeon. From here, when you're ready, inhale, exhale. Carefully find your way out of your pigeon. Find your downward facing dog. You can take or skip a flow here if you would like. And then from here, bringing those knees down, coming back into forearm plank number two. So again, you can do it the same way you did before. You can do it a little bit differently. Find yours. We're breathing as we hold the plank. And when you're ready, good. Carefully find your downward facing dog once more. Good, from the down dog, when you're ready, left leg's gonna lift three point, bending that knee, round, step or pick up and put that foot forward between the hands, warrior prep your back foot, good. find your stable warrior two. Good, now watch your feet, watch your knee tracking here, front hip can come back slightly. Good, inhale. We'll lift, we'll take it back exalted. Inhale, exhale, take it back warrior two. Inhale, exhale, find an extended side angle, forearm to the thigh, a hand to the blocker to the floor. If this is where you are, careful not to do this with the shoulder, press out of there. And inhale, exhale, lengthen that leg, take it back, exalted. Inhale, exhale, warrior two. Inhale, exhale, extended side angle number two, doing it the same way you did before, or maybe a slightly different version this time. Inhale, exhale, lengthen, taking it back exalted. Inhale, exhale, warrior two, make it your best one on the side. Stand strong in your feet. Strong feet, strong legs, strong hips, strong back. It's all related. Inhale, exhale, cartwheel that down. Swivel up the back foot, front foot steps back. You choose, take or skip a flow. We're gonna have some fun here before we take that to the other side. Take your feet as wide as the mat. Hips, knees, and toes are gonna turn out away from the body. Good. Now, some of you are gonna take the hop out of it and you're just gonna bend and stretch and bend and stretch. Others are gonna take this into a malasana hop. So when you're ready, bend and hop and take it back and bend and hop and bend and hop and bend and, bend and stay here, bring it back in. Woo. Let's take that to the other side. Right le leg lifts three point, bending that knee round. Step or pick up and put that foot forward between the hands. Warrior prep, rise, warrior two. And I'm just gonna change sides here. Good, make it your best one. Sorry, this is your second best one. Your best one is your last one. Lengthen that front leg and taking it back. Reach, reach, reach. Inhale, exhale, finding warrior two. Inhale, exhale, lengthen, find extended side angle, variation one. 
can be any variation in your practice, that's fine. Inhale, exhale, lengthen out of there, take it back exalted. Inhale, exhale, warrior two. Inhale, exhale, extended side angle number two. Good, inhale, exhale, lengthen. Get into the heel when you lengthen, taking it back, exalted. Inhale, exhale, warrior two. Now make this one your best one on the side. Inhale, exhale, cartwheel that down. Swivel up the back foot, front foot steps back. Take or skip a flow. This will be the last flow of the class that I cue you. And we're gonna take that Malasana squat again. So I'm gonna take my feet out to the side, hip, knee and toes are turning out away from the body. So remember, you can take the hop out of it and just bend and stretch. Others are gonna hop with me. So when you're ready, bend and hop and take it back and hop and take it back and hop, find your Malasana. I'm gonna turn around this way. Different things for different people. If you need to do a wall squat, you can do a wall squat. If you need blocks here, bring them in. You've got this block, this block, this block, here, here. Do what you need. I'm gonna be right here. Good. You want your heels to be grounded and you wanna get into the habit of pressing through the outer edges of the feet and not collapsing in here, okay? So you want the whole foot to work. Zip up through the front body. When you're ready, release to the left and open. Taking that back down, release to the right and open. And taking that back down. Good, if you're at the wall, just come to standing. If you're in a squat, take your hands forward left and come back. We're gonna prepare for crow here. So I'm gonna give it to you two ways. Good, I'll show it to you from the front and to the side. So option one, I'm on my feet. My heels are connected as best as I can. Hip knees and toes are turned out. Good. Some people like to take their knees on the backs of the arms. I modify on the side because it looks like somebody grabs me really hard and I bruise if I don't. So then from here, for some of us, this is going to be the end of the road. Maybe you just move forward and back, just getting used to it. Maybe you play with lifting one foot, then the other. And then maybe your crow can fly. So really zip up through that front body. Think about that protraction here. I'm looking forward. If I tuck my chin, I will somersault, okay? So that's crow. Another way you can get into it if you have trouble lifting your knees up high, same thing, except you're gonna come up onto a block here. So then from here, when you're ready, everything else is the same. You can stay here, you can move forward and back, you can play with one or you can lift up into your crook. And we breathe. Good. Now, from here, I'm still working on some of my strength from my December hysterectomy surgery, but it doesn't hurt my wrist anymore. It doesn't hurt my wrist anymore because I built up my strength in my upper body. Okay. The exception to that is if you know you've got arthritis, you have scar tissue, maybe something happened down here then you can't really take a lot of that wrist pressure out. But if you strengthen your upper body, the wrist won't come into play because they will stop compensating for what your shoulders are no longer doing. So we're gonna come onto our backs now. Grab one block to take with you. Grab your strap, have that back handy. Actually, I don't know why I said that. We're not coming down onto our backs just yet. Never mind that. We're going to have a seat, taking the feet forward, feet in flexion towards the face. Big inhale and reach. Exhale and fold. Good. 
getting ahead of myself there. Breathe into the back body. So it can take a lot of that courage and confidence to come into that crew. It took me six years of practice before I could keep it out of my wrist. But you know what? Practice makes progress. If we don't practice, if we don't work on things, we can never improve. So from here, when we're ready, good. I'm gonna take my left leg out to the side. The right foot's gonna come in. Big inhale and reach. Exhale, I'm gonna rotate and fold. If that's not for you, just get a side bend. You're gonna stretch the same area. Maybe come back to that saying, I feel strong today. I can release the fear of falling forward on my face and have that courage to try crow. So if the fear of folding or falling on your face is the problem in crow, from here we'll carefully come back up. We'll get a counter stretch over this way. Then what you can do in your practice, have some folded blankets or a pillow in front of you. And that way, if you lose your balance and fall forward, then you don't have to worry about smacking your nose. So right leg out, left foot in, big inhale and reach. Exhale, side bend or rotate and fold. And inhale, exhale, come up. We'll reach and side bend opposite side. And come up. Now we really will come onto our back. So make sure you've got one block handy. You've got that strap handy. And as you come down here onto your back, grab that block. Now you can have your block at this setting or this setting. Again, if you need something softer, Take a folded blanket, you can fold it up like that, and then that will give you some lift with a softer surface. But from here, I'm gonna come right under here. Good. Now, this might feel good to you, and if it does, you're free to stay here. Otherwise, lift one leg at a time. Good. And we're gonna take that back into the bicycle kind of where we started. So now that you're on the block, you've made this a little bit harder because now you've got a little bit more range of motion with the legs. Belly button is in. And remember the lower you go, the harder you make it, but not at the expense of your back. Let's reverse pedal. Good. Back in tabletop, legs are together. Double leg bicycle. We're gonna reach, take it down and bend and come back up and reach. And bend and lift and reach and bend and lift and reach and bend, come in and reverse that. Good, going back and up. One more. Good. One leg at a time is gonna come down to the floor. Now, if this feels good to you and you wanna stay here in a supported back bend, stay here. Those of you that wanna remove, just lift the hips, remove the block, but stay up there. Rolling the shoulders back, being strong in the feet. And then from here, from the mid back to the rib cage, to the lumbar, to the tailbone, we'll lower that down. But if you still have the block underneath there, lift up and remove, knees into the chest, and we'll rock, 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 side to side. We're gonna take our strap. So we're gonna end with a stretchy twist. So we're going to twist to the right side first. So if you cannot keep your left leg in line with the hip when you do that, take your block over there. So you've got that support in case you need it. So block's gonna go into the right side. Good, strap's gonna come around the left foot. 
right leg's gonna come long, both straps into the right leg. And you can kind of move around a little bit here if that feels good. Good. Now with the bent knee or long leg, find your arc over. Again, you can move around finding your sweet spot. You're welcome to stay here if you don't wanna take this all the way over. But if so, good. You can take it all the way over using block or not, keeping it in line with the hip, looking to the other side. So you keep the leg in line with the hip to protect the SI joints in the back. That's where the sacrum and the pelvis meet each other. SI meaning sacral iliac joint. And if we're not careful, they move just enough to cause problems if we're not careful. So we always want to be kind to that area. And when we're ready, we'll bring this back up. Good. We'll do a midair switcheroo. Good. Move that block to the other side if you're going to use it over there. Good. And then from here, strap comes into the left hand. Good. You can kind of move things around here. Left leg will come long. You can come over and wiggle around. You can stay there or take it over. Good. Maybe looking to the other side. And when you're ready, we'll come back into center. And we'll remove that foot from the strap. Good. From here, when you're ready, I'm going to set myself up for a nice Shavasana here. So you can let everything come long and flop open. You can put a bend in the knees. I'm going to use my folded blanket here as a little bit of a neck pillow. Good. Settle in, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. See if you can make yourself 10% more comfortable. You can always be on your side or your belly too, if that's how you need to relax. And I will leave you here for a few moments, contemplating what we did today, the courage, the joy, the play, the strength. Taking some deep breaths here. Choose stillness or gently take head and neck from side to side. Choose stillness or invite movement of the fingers and the toes. to stillness or taking knees into the chest, choosing to keep the upper body grounded or maybe lifted into a full body hug. And then from here, when you're ready, moving any props out of the way that you may have used during your Shavasana time, taking legs long in front of you, arms long behind you, and reach and lengthen from the edge of the fingertips, the edge of the toes, full body stretch, point and flex to those feet, bend and stretch through the hands, twirling wrists and ankles in one direction and then the other. And when you're ready, carefully bending in both knees and rolling over to your right or left side, the side that works best for your body in this moment. Taking all the time that you need here. And when you're ready, pressing yourself up to a comfortable seat where we normally start our yoga practice. 
Noticing how you feel. Palms up and we'll lift. Touching palms together. Exhale, hands and heart center. Coming back to that intention you made at the beginning of class or the ones I gave you, the joy, courage, love, play. We'll take thumbs to the forehead for good and true thoughts, to our lips for good and kind words, and to our hearts for open and loving hearts, knowing no effort on this mat is ever wasted, no gain is ever reversed. May you be safe, may you stay well, may you have a wonderful day, evening, week, month, season ahead. Namaste.